Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we are looking at the NFL DraftKings and FanDuel picks for Week 12. We have a 10-game slate for tomorrow. Then we got Thanksgiving slate. And a few days after that, on Thursday, uh, we go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into some of the plays for tomorrow's slate. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it. Like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Looking at the quarterback positions for this, the players for. Uh, this week, we have only one guy above 7,000 or at 7,000. That's Jaden Daniels. Gets a matchup against the Dallas defense, who's been terrible. Daniels been fine. Uh, feel like the uh, commanders have come back down to earth a little bit the last couple of games. Um, you know, hasn't had as many explosive plays. I'm not looking to pay 7K for him this week. I think there's some good values. We have Purdy out, so you know you're going to get... 4,000 making the spot start for the 49ers uh, this week against the Packers. He's only 4K, could be worth a punt, but uh, uh, yeah, Baker, who possibly could be getting Mike Evans back tomorrow, still questionable. We'll see. Hamstring injuries are always tough to come back from. You never know when those can be re-aggravated, so I'm not looking to play Evans, but if he's out there, it'll benefit Baker a little bit, and he's had some really good fantasy games this season. And then below 6,000, we have Tua. It's 58. Um, you know, he's been looking better last couple of games. Three touchdown passes, two to Jonu Smith last week. Good fine spot here against the Patriots defense. Um, but then the real value I think I'm looking at this week is you have Geno Smith at 57, then you have Anthony Richardson at 56. So Richardson might be a little bit more of the risky play, the boomer bust play, but I got to like the upside that he gives you. Uh, two rushing touchdowns last week. Uh, threw for almost 300 yards, which is good to see. He hasn't really done that much this season. Um, and then after being reinserted back in the starting lineup, you know he's going to be looking to uh, play really well the rest of the season. You know, we'll see if he plays poorly. He might be looking to be on a different team next season. But uh, hopefully he plays, continues to play well like he did last week and um, puts up the fantasy points because 56 is a really good price tag against uh, the Lions, which has... We have the highest total on the slate. Running back position, you have McCaffrey, 85. No touchdowns yet for him the first two games back. He's getting the touches. He'll probably get a lot of dump-offs from the quarterback, Allen, this week, but I'm not looking at him if I just make him one lineup. I like A-Chain um, at 7500 bucks. He gets the receptions. He gets carries. He can be utilized. Sometimes he'll go to other running backs in the red zone situations like Mostert, but... Um, you know, third down situations, he's looking to get the ball because he's a better pass catching back. Two elects to check down to him a lot, um, and he can always break it against Patriots defense. Bottom third against the run. Other plays you have are Gibbs. The Lions are going to put up points this week, whether you go to Gibbs or Montgomery. I think both are good plays. I think uh, it richer than hurts Taylor's value a little bit just because he can run in touchdowns when they're inside the, the 5 or inside the 10. Um, I do like Stevenson at 59. Drake May has been a resurgence for this Patriots offense. They're moving the ball. They're getting points. Uh, I'm looking at Stevenson's being involved a little bit in the passing game and in, in the goal line red zone situations. He's getting the ball when they're looking to run. Uh, I think Chuba's a good play, but I'm going with James Conner, another bell cow uh, for the Cardinals. Gets carries, gets targets. You know, he doesn't really leave the field much except for a couple breaks here and there. Matchup against the Seahawks, bat, bottom five against the Rush. I think the Cardinals can put up some points here. Seahawks defense has been bad, um, and hopefully Seahawks can put up points and we get a, another game that can turn into a shootout. So I like Detroit Indy game. I like the Patriots more, um, Patriots and Dolphins game, mostly from the Dolphins side. And then I think you go to both sides of this Cardinals-Seahawks game. Uh, wide receivers here. Amon Ross St. Brown is probably looking to be one of the better value or the payups for the receiver this week. He has 10 touchdowns. He has now touchdowns in, I believe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 straight games. Um, just been a beast getting touchdowns. Uh, they always have plays designed for him, it looks like. Always the first option when looking to throw when they're inside the red zone. So I'm going with him against the Colts defense. I like him better than Jefferson against the Bears. I like him better than. Collins and Neighbors, then CD. I like Tyree Kill too at 872. If you're looking to get to Tyree Kill, he's cheap, cheaper than he probably should be. I think um, you know him and 18 are my two favorites. And then he has touchdowns now in back-to-back -back games with Tua. 
So that's good after he didn't have one in a, since week one, I believe. Yeah. So the matchup here, you know, Patriots defense, Dolphins are at home. She'll play well. She'll put up points. Price tag is really good for Hill, and you don't have a ton of other great payups this week. So might as well get the two best options. Um, and then Tyreek is cheaper than he should be. And then with all paying up a receiver, you might need to go to a value pick. So you have some in like the 6K range, like Josh Downs at 62. Marvin Harrison's only 61. He gives you a lot of upside. Uh, you have Ridley cheaper. You have a couple guys in the 5K range, like Ridley, or I mentioned Ridley. And then you got Pittman at 53. Um, and then you have in the 4K range, you have Adunze. You have a bunch, a couple guys in the 3K range that don't really leave the field much. Like, uh, you have, you know, Bourne had a good game, but I kind of like uh, Keyshawn Booty more, 35. He plays 80-plus percent of snaps. A receiver, he's getting targets from Drake May, six targets. A matter of time before he gets one into the end zone. Uh, so do a little bring back from the Dolphins. Uh, and take a Patriot who's cheap, doesn't really leave the field much. He's on the field, all wide receiver sets for the most part. Uh, tight end, you can pay up for uh, Travis Kelsey. Look to bounce back against Panthers. Good spot to do so. I like McBride at 56. Uh, Bowers, if you want to pay all the way up. Value-wise, I like Laporta at 43. And then you got 4K for Hunter Henry. Defense, looking to pay down. You have could take a shot on the Cardinals, take a shot on the, the, the Packers, going up against Allen at the quarterback. For the 49ers, probably will turn the ball over. Uh, and then if you're looking at as pay-up options, I'd say the the Texans at 36 or the Vikings look like good plays. Vikings defense has been a beast this season. Um, so that's what I got over on the DraftKings side for this week. Well, some similar plays here. Uh, Amon Rai is 95, so he's expensive. I went down to his teammate, Jamison Williams, instead, who still gives you that boomer bust upside. Uh, good for tournaments. I think his price is still playable for cash, too. I like Tyreek for 1200 cheaper uh, against the Patriots at 83 I think Pittman's a really good value play at 57 uh, Him and Downs are going to command most of the targets, and in that range, there's really nobody that looks too good. So I think he gives you some upside. And then running back, I think Chuba's really cheap at 71 you could take a shot on Amir Abdullah at um, like 5K because their top two running backs are going to miss. They're both doubtful, unless one of them happens to get upgraded. Uh, I think A-Chain is still a really good play at 91. And then I think you could look to like a Stevenson at 64. Nice value, Pollard, 65 because Spears is out. James Conner is still fine at 77, but I like him more on the DraftKings pricing. And then uh, quarterback, I went with Richardson on both sites. He's nicely priced at 75. You have some other guys that you could pivot to, like a Geno, a Tua, but uh, I think he gives you the most upside with the legs than in anybody in that range. So going with him, unless you know, except for Kyler at 78, you can look to him as well. Uh, but that is pretty much it. Same tight ends I mentioned on DraftKings as you can look to here. Uh, I do like uh, the pricing on Laporte at 58. And then Hunter Henry at 52 if you don't want to pay up for you know, one of the top tight ends. And then defense. You have... Uh, you could look to the Giants defense just because they're so cheap at 33. Um, other than that, I think the Cardinals 36. And then the Packers 4K are the couple that have my most interest and that's pretty much it for the Week 12 picks I'm looking at for tomorrow's slate. Best of luck if you are going to be using any of them. And I will talk to you all next time.